it's a little bit different than last year coming out of the practice facility. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was great to see the fans in here and, uh, you know, the, it wasn't uh, by any means full house, but you could, you could feel the presence and, um, you know, we, uh, I wish we would have got off to a quicker start. You know, uh, credit to San Diego. They, they played a great first period and really came out with energy. And we looked like, uh, you know, it was an exhibition game. They, they were a little more, a little more refined, a little, a little more fine-tuned. And, uh, and they, 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 are, they earned the win today. So many new guys to take a look at. And you hear players sometimes talk about they get caught looking, they get caught watching when a new guy is on the team. Did you find yourself on the bench at all tonight sort of doing that as you were watching all these different guys under the team? Yeah, that's, a, that's fair. I think, uh, you know, it's a, a lot of players are under evaluation, you know, and uh, we, some guys we're familiar with, but we don't, we don't know their true, their true identity, their true character, their true, their true game. And so, you know, you're looking at guys like Burke and Tynan and, you know, get, feeling them out. And, of course, our, our young, uh, pretty much everybody on the decor, you know, besides, uh, besides Gaunce and, and Phillips, you know, we were taking a look at those other four guys very, very closely and, um, you know, trying to, trying to get uh, the learning curve as, as steep as possible for those guys. TJ tonight, uh, what did you think of him just, you know, having that veteran forward in the lineup? Yeah, his, uh, you know, his buzz, um, it, it just didn't connect a few times, but he was, you know, he puts himself in the right spots, and of course his, his motor just never stops. And so a lot of that is um, him timing the system, uh, and him timing the players that he's going to be around, and so you know that'll be uh, that'll be critical for for our team success is to get him to to get his timing going. You know, and, and I he was around it. It just didn't didn't quite uh, didn't quite connect. Uh, you know, tonight. But he was he's uh, he brings that energy every night. And he's got a, he's got a B game to him too, which is you know you love. He's he's always tilted. He's always he's great in the dot. Uh, with the chances off a of face offs with him out there too. So. Uh, I love the way that he takes charge. He's he's good on the bench, sort of a uh, almost an extension of the coaching staff. Um, positive yet stern. Uh, really, really, you know, key addition and uh, a great leader. The last one for me then would just be about Dudas. You know, you've talked so much over the last six, eight, ten months about what you want from him, but getting a goal early for him tonight, you know, to kick the year off, does that just do wonders for his? His confidence. I hope so. I, you know, and I think that while we're, you know, he's always going to be looking for him to be a secondary scorer. Uh, I think you know in his pro career, but at the same time, you know, like there, there's still his, his identity is going to be about being a pest and, and being the 200 foot momentum player. So you know, we anytime he chips in offensively because he does have a very, very uh, crisp shot. He's got vision. He's got enough skill to make plays, but we want to make sure that his his calling card is that is that you know like kind of alluded to with Hines is like that buzz. You know, making sure that you're you're an impact every single shift, whether you have the puck on your tape or not. You want to be you want to be noticed. So you know, we'll keep to keep working on it with him, and uh, you know, I, I, yeah, we're we're happy with where with where Ravens at. You mentioned that you would wish for a faster start. Yeah, it seemed like that uh, that goal off the power play. Seem to bring the team to life. Uh, was it that? Was it the fight? Was it just a matter of time before the team showed up? Well, in the first period, I, I don't think we stalled uh, San Diego out really once um, on the four check. You know, and that's that's really the calling card. If you can't get any riding time in the offensive zone, then uh, then they're coming out. You know, they're organized. They've got three men on the four check. Uh, we started to get to it a little bit in the second period where. Uh, they would only have one or two guys on the, on the four check because we did get some sustained riding time. We did make a couple adjustments between the first and the second with just our, our angling and, and what our purpose was uh, from, from F1 and 2 and 3. So, you know, it, it, we, we got a little bit to that. And I think the power play goal, you know, we, we draw a penalty because of that. And we, uh, you know, I think the, the, the goals that we got in the second were sort of, um, you know, secondary to the momentum that, we, that we'd start to create. Firks gaining on Tynan's wing in a lot of the uh, practices out yeah. there tonight. Is that a duo you anticipate keeping together? I, I hope so. Yeah, that's that, that, you know we're we're, uh, we're definitely optimistic about those two. They they have been uh, outstanding in practice on the line rush and really just you know they've got they've got chemistry right away in practice. So uh, it, it didn't click full tonight, uh, but you know what? It, there was a lot of facets of our game that, that didn't click, and those guys they need they need momentum players to do their jobs and to make sure that they're. You know, we're not we're not a one line team. We need to be, we need to be a four line team where every line is able to control the you know the tempo in their own way. And so we'll we'll keep we'll keep chipping away at that. Last year, tons of kids in the lineup. This year, a few more adults in the room. For lack of a better phrase, <laughs> yeah. how much easier is it to coach a team when you've got those guys helping out? You know, tonight, I don't know if we could say that as much. You know, with the four uh, four guys in the back end, you know, really you know kind of auditioning their first American League uh, experience. So. 
but at, at the same time, you know, it's like that's that's uh, that's opportunity for us to grow, and they'll get they'll just get better with each game. You know, I'm I'm talking specifically about Spenny and 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 Gronzi. You know, like they'll they'll just feel they'll get better every game, and uh, and you know what, the the veteran guys. You know, we, it was great to have Cam Gons in the lineup, and you know, Sutz wins a key draw for us to to get that go ahead goal there in the second period. So you know, having those guys around. Uh, you know, to uh, you know, to mentor these these young players is what is really what you know what it's all about in the American Hockey League is to to have the key veterans and, and the right rookies and so you know with that, that mix of uh, a veteran uh, leadership and uh, and youthful youthful energy and, and uh, potential.